The Sons of Union's Veterans of the Civil War stopped by Park Rapids to hold a ceremony for the last Civil War veteran buried in Hubbard County. The group is a congressionally chartered organization formed on 1881 by the Grand Army of the Republic. Its purpose is perpetuating the memory of the men who saved the Union and honoring all who have served our nation. Our reporter Matthew Freeman stopped by the ceremony to see why the organization honors those who have served and fallen for our country. The Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War seeks out and marks graves of Civil War veterans, observes the care and upkeep of Civil War memorials, and holds a special ceremony for Union veterans. We did intensive research throughout the winter uh, to find all of the Civil War soldiers that we possibly could for Hubbard County, and then we were able to determine uh, to the best of our abilities with the internet today uh, who the last Union veteran was buried in the county. That veteran being Private Frank Christian Tews, a man who was only 19 years old when he enlisted in the 47th Wisconsin Volunteer Infantry Regiment in Kentucky and Tennessee, serving as security against guerrilla attacks on the railroads. And it's the Sons of Union's veterans' mission to mark all of the graves of Union vets across all of Minnesota. We're doing all 87 counties, and it's a national effort with the Sons of Union veterans to do every county. A large effort of what we do when, when we locate all these soldiers in all these counties is we find that there are hundreds of them in the state without headstones. So our goal this year is to receive 250 headstones for Civil War soldiers. The Sons of Union veterans do their best to hold an authentic ceremony, one that is very similar to what they did for fallen soldiers of the Union during the Civil War. The ceremony was based off the old Grand Army of the Republic's funeral rites. We modernized it a little bit. It's a tradition for a, a veteran. We weren't alive when this gentleman passed away, but since we're marking his grave as the last Union veteran of the county, it just seemed uh, the honorable thing with the fire a volley for him and play taps for him again. I see a need to take care of the first veterans. So that's kind of what I'm doing. These ceremonies often are ways to bring closure to families related to those Civil War veterans, but it can also be a way to bring a family together. There's two Civil War soldiers buried in Cook County. When we were done with the ceremony, we asked everybody who was a descendant to gather around so we could take a picture. And all the people that were there started gathering around. All of these people were related and then none of them knew each other. So we had a family reunion on it. It was amazing. Reporting from Park Rapids, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. The Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War will be making a stop in Crookston on May 18th to honor another two Union veterans, with one being a Medal of Honor recipient and a second stop later the same day in Halstead to hold the ceremony for a third Union veteran. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.